Hey guys, this is Chelsea from Attention to Details and I wanted to share with you a quick tip on how to clean headliners. The most effective way to clean headliners, in fact. Um, Scott Bly over at Dallas Paint Correction uh, showed this to me a few years ago in a video. It's about two years old. Um, I don't know if I've seen any other person doing this technique and I have found that it is super effective, especially if you have a headliner. I don't know if you can see behind me. It's kind of poor lighting, but uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on this. So right around this area right here is nothing but a water ripple. Uh, I don't know why with Dodge Ram pickup trucks, zoom back out, with Dodge Ram pickup trucks, for some reason, especially on this, I guess, right hand side window seal, um, they leak a lot of times. And I've had to do this, you know, multiple times with either nicotine um, and the customer for this truck, they do smoke. So there is a little bit of nicotine um, around the, the headliner. There's some grease from mechanics. It's a work truck, it's gonna get soiled, but this is one of the most effective ways I have found to clean headliners. So, if you have a DA, you're gonna want a DA polisher. Um, obviously, this is the GG6. I have Meguiar's microfiber finishing pad on the end of it. And then I also have Bonnet Pro Rocket Revive It. I think this is mixed uh, five to one, maybe even 10 to one, I can't forget. Um, it's whatever the dilution recommendation is within their bottles. But this is a really great hydrogen peroxide, citrus-based uh, cleaner. It's not gonna leave any sort of residue. Um, you, you obviously have to keep in mind with doing headliners, you don't wanna oversaturate. Um, I know a lot of times guys will just completely douse, 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 and you know they'll scrub with their microfiber, but then afterwards there actually is a stain from the chemical. Um, they may have removed the, the soiling, but now they've created a bigger issue with having too much chemical and having a residue there. So having a product like this is gonna help with you know removing that. And this is very similar to what you would see almost within a professional carpet cleaning um, technique. They are going to spray their foaming uh, solution within the, the carpet or the fiber. They're going to agitate it with a brush. You know, we do this a lot of times with um, carpet mats or carpets or even seats. You'll use like a, an aggressive scrub brush to be able to deep clean and, and get all the soils lifted up and then you can suction it out with your extractor. And this is similar to that method. We can't necessarily extract a headliner, so what you're gonna wanna do is you know, spray your chemical on your headliner, agitate it with the microfiber finishing pad, and then you're gonna finish up. I like to use, these are just the Kirkland, or uh, yeah, they're the Costco Kirkland uh, microfibers. They're really absorbent, they're great for interiors. A lot of guys don't like them on exteriors, um, but I found that they're, they're really great for this because afterwards you just kinda go up and you know mop it up a little bit and that way you're getting a majority of the the solution out the dirt you're lifting it off with your microfiber and then it's going to dry evenly um so i just want to share with you what that looks like real quick let's see if we can do this so you can't see it where i'm at right now but all this top edge right here there is a little bit of staining from you know nicotine from smoke and there's also some grease stains from mechanics that the customer told me he wanted me to hit but I could go ahead and try to get this aggressive with just a spot cleaning, but I'm concerned because of the nicotine that I'm gonna have a clean spot versus a dirty spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the entire headliner so that way it's completely clean, it's gonna really smell great in here and help get rid of some of that nicotine smell. And you know we're just gonna see what that looks like real quick. So we're gonna do a light misting, but you definitely want to saturate the surface. It's windy and blowing on my glasses, so forgive me if I'm making like a really horrible face. So we're gonna get this evenly over everything. We're also gonna spray it on our microfiber pad so that way it is primed in a way. All right, then we're gonna put it on speed one and notch it up to about two or three. Obviously when you turn it off, you want to kind of keep your pad up there or else you're going to sling stuff everywhere. But you can see my pad is only lightly soiled. What I will do is I'll put it on speed three and take my microfiber and clean it off this way. All right, so now I've got a majority of any soiling that was on the pad, I'm ready to go. But then I'm also going to take 
my microfiber and just mop up. And what I'll do is I'll do that through the rest of this headliner so that way when I dry, I'm drying consistently. And you can't see it, but what I had, if there was any residue that was dripping right here, it was orange. So that tells me there definitely is some nicotine there. Oh yeah. And this is definitely going to help with the aesthetics and odor as well. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this up, but I just wanted to show with you guys this quick tip on really effectively cleaning headliners, especially for smokers, or if you have a lot of grease or any water damage, um, you know, this is gonna definitely save you a lot of time and your arms. So hope it helps and be sure to subscribe to stay tuned to any future videos that I have coming out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later.